Welcome to another Max Chroma tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be continuing the series on 3D LUTs in Adobe Photoshop and specifically making color separations. So what we've got here is just a flattened background layer image. And what I'm going to do is try to run through a couple of the simple color separations. Essentially, let's just do the six hues so that would be the six primary hues of red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. And we'll also go through and then do a black and a white. So in the first video, I just showed how I could actually extract the hue of the image, but we don't need to do that to do these separations. So really, let's just do the black. Okay, let's do maximum white on a black and white adjustment layer. And that's it right there. So let's go ahead and do file, export, color lookup tables. We're going to call this max chroma color separation LUTs dash black. And we'll do the same thing right there. And I'll put this on the desktop. Color separation, LUTs, black. Okay, generates that. I'm actually going to go out here and do a new folder. We'll call this Max Chroma Color Separation LUTs because I'll save this pack and put it up for free on my website. Okay. Let's just move this along right here. We've got some of these LUTs, so color separation LUTs black, that 3DL. It's in a different couple of different files, so an ICC profile and the other types, dot cube. Okay, and the full hue reveal we'll put in there as well. We won't do this adjustment one from the previous video. Okay, that'll make it easier. Now let's go ahead and just double check that. So I'll go to image adjustments, color lookup table. We will go to load into this folder, the max chroma color separation LUTs. And we want to test out the black. There we go. Pretty easy, right? Okay, let's go ahead and do the white. It's essentially very simple as well. We're just going to do black and white maximum black. Okay. So you could have that adjustment layer. You could process it that way through image adjustments. These ones are relatively simple. They don't require a lot of layers to do it, but let's just go ahead and make them for fun. So we'll do file export. And really we might want this as a po as a positive, not a negative, right? So this is actually truly just the whiteness as white. Let's go ahead and put an invert on that. So adjustment layer invert. So this is the white as a separation, a color separation. Let's go ahead and do export color lookup table and maybe I'll copy and paste this. So max chroma color separation LUTs white and I'll do control A, control C to copy that, and make it quicker. So we're going to go right to that folder and we've got them named the same way. So I'll just do paste. Okay. Let's go ahead and start doing some colors. So we're going to do just a selective color adjustment layer. Go to the reds, make sure we're in absolute mode, not relative, absolute. And we're going to do a plus 100 to the black. Go to the yellows and negative 100 to the black slider only. Cyans, we're following this for all the colors. Yellows, greens, cyans, blues, magentas. And then you see there's still stuff left over. So you have to take out the whites, the neutrals and the black. There we go. That's the red separation for a six hues, black and white separation. Let's just go ahead and do file export color lookup tables. I'll do control V to paste that text in. This is going to be the six hues red. Go to that folder right here and save it as six hues red. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna keep this adjustment layer and just switch it around. It's very easy to just take the reds, get rid of those, go to the yellows and positive 100 for the black. So this will just get through this pretty quickly. Let's do export color lookup tables. Paste that in. This is the six hues yellow. I'll do control A, control C to copy that. Go desktop to the folder and paste right there. Very quick, very simple. Let's double click this again. Negative 100 for the black slider on the yellows. And we're gonna go to greens, positive 100 on the black slider. Now we've got the green separation. File, export, color lookup tables. Let's paste that in and just change yellow to green. Same thing, change yellow to green. Okay, that was pretty easy. They're all gonna be the same cyans. Actually, we need to stay on the greens and go negative 100. Go to the cyans and positive 100. Let's go ahead and do file export. Paste, change this to cyan. And right here, we'll go back into this folder. And, oh, I didn't save the green in the right folder, did I? I'll have to go and fix that. Okay, cyan, enter. Let me go back to that folder. Where are we here? And it saved it in somewhere else, didn't it? Let me find that right here. Let's cut those out, paste them in here. Okay. Go back to Photoshop. Let's change this now and negative 100 on the black slider for the cyans. Go to the blue, positive 100. File export color lookup tables. Let's paste that file name in. Oops, I didn't get it this time around because I changed my copy and paste. Let's go ahead to Max Chroma color separation LUTs. Let's get this file name right there. Paste it in, we are on blue. Oops, cancel, accidentally hit enter. Paste it in, call it blue. Just holding shift to keep these in caps. Okay, we'll go make sure we're in the right folder, which we'll just keep going to. It's probably the last folder I've opened something from. Blue. Save those. Double click this, go to magentas. And, oh, we'll cut out the cyan and the blue here. Okay, actually, if I wanted to go ahead and do a CMYK type of separation for the magenta, I would just take the reds and have those up and the blues and have those up as well. That would be my three hues magenta or my CMYK process magenta. But we're sticking to the six hues right now. And maybe just for this video to keep it simple, let's go ahead and do file export, color lookup tables, six hues magenta. Go to the right folder here and we'll say six hues magenta. Okay, and that's it. So I can go ahead and now test these. Maybe I'll pull open this color lookup adjustment layer. We'll do load LUTs. And we have all of these right here. We're just gonna start with the black. Okay. And we'll do load the white. Let's load the red six hues there it is and there's probably some other options to once i get into maybe having these already preset in my folder let me go ahead and pause the video real quick and look and see where we would put those let's okay i think i found it under my main program files adobe adobe photoshop cc 2019 presets and there's 3d luts so i could actually go in and maybe take all of these and I'm just gonna cut them out, put them on the desktop in a new folder labeled Photoshop default 
three D LUTs, paste them all in, continue. Do this for all current items. That's fine. Okay, and what type are they? It is dot look or dot three DL. Okay. Maybe I will go to these and sort by type. Let's just take all the 3DL files and we will copy those over to this right here. Continue like so. Go to Photoshop and I don't think it's going to work until I restart Photoshop, but let's just check it out. Okay not in in there currently let me pause the video and we'll try it once more see if it's a lot faster to just open up the LUTs directly in the Photoshop default folder be back with you in a second okay I restarted Photoshop and now if I go to this color lookup table adjustment layer and just go right here color lookup there they all are so I can look at the full hue reveal I can just press the down arrow look at the blue cyan green, magenta, red, yellow, and the black and the white. Okay. And it's, I don't know, maybe that's just alphabetical or something, but basically we've got them all there easily just loading them in. I maybe don't want it, you know, dithering, not really sure how that affects things or not. The quality of them is also one of the things that has something some sort of an effect let me go ahead and look at the red separation um you know not really sure exactly how the dithering affects things how the quality is affected whether there's you know a lower quality to these separations compared to running them through the other processes but it's just kind of fun to see that this can happen all instantaneously through a lookup table, similar to some of my other videos where I show that I do direct image processing on some of these uh, techniques in, you know, writing code. But, you know, within Photoshop, using color lookup tables is kind of fun. The fact that you can create them pretty easily. That's just what I wanted to show in this video. And in the next video, I think I'll get into making some more advanced separations. Can we go ahead and make the black, gray and white? instead of just black and white. Can we do the orange 12 hues? You know, that would be the orange, the lime, the mint, the azure blue, the violet and the rose. Could we make those ones as well? And what about tints, tones and shades? You know, just how far can we take it with only adjustment layers? So some of the things that I write with actions maybe go a little further than what we can do with LUTs as far as color separations and extracting them and then recoloring them. Um, I could also make one of these LUTs have the color overlay on it as well, right? So I could go ahead to this, do 120 degrees hue, set that to screen, and I could make that a LUT by itself, you know, doing the same process with the selective color and then putting the color overlay that would work the same. But let's save that for the next video. This one is just the six hues and black and white. And I'll put that file on my pay hip. I'll go ahead and make a new product to download for free the Max Chroma Color Separation LUTs. Okay, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.